Hello folks. With this video I want to give you a walk around of my uh, uh, tractor, garden tractor, Bolin's uh, ST180 Hydro uh, converted into a garden truck if you will. Um, so this is something I actually picked up already modified just like as you see it uh, in non-working condition. I got it off of uh, Craigslist from somebody not too far from my house actually for $200 believe it or not and um, it was not uh, functional like I said the engine was actually in pieces uh, and I figured that uh, I could always repower it uh, with a uh, used uh, another used engine uh, the covers from the uh, engine uh, the cover the engine compartment were missing so I fabricated some myself um, I actually ended up uh, replacing, uh, I should say, refurbishing the carburetor, replacing all of the uh, gaskets and uh, needle and uh, uh, fuel pump uh, membrane. And the sucker started right up. Uh, it actually had uh, also a leaky gasket from the, um, uh, from the heads. Uh, I took those out with the intention of replacing them, but uh, I ended up cleaning them, putting them back together and it just works fine it does uh provide some smoke uh i think the gaskets do, do need to be replaced uh but for now it's running i just wanted to see what i can get out of it before i put more money into it if i really want to keep it uh, long term <clears throat> so again let me just give you a quick walk around uh, so the, again, so the reason why I picked it up, even though it wasn't functional, is because for $200, uh, it really was a good deal. I looked at it in terms of the uh, modifications, uh, the welds, the extension, and everything, and it looks really good. I mean, somebody did a really good job, whoever did this. Um, so again, let me just give you a quick walk through. Uh, you see, this is the original uh, twin 18 uh, horse um, uh, Briggs uh, engine, so parts are readily available. It does have a, a leakage somewhere in the electrical system, so if I leave the battery connected, uh, it will discharge it completely. Uh, I did replace the, um, uh, the rectifier uh, bridge uh, diode, uh, but that didn't help. Uh, so uh, it does seem to be charging the battery, but again, if I leave it connected, it uh, discharges. So I, for now, I'm using a clamp here, but I need to buy uh, just a permanent... Uh, uh, switch that I'll probably put here somewhere to disconnect the battery to cut it out. Uh, I changed the uh, engine oil. It wasn't uh, the prettiest originally, and you know since I replaced it, it does run. Uh, it has been running better, smoother. Um, what else did I do? So, like I said, I built these covers just because I keep it outside, and I decided that I figured that that would be better protection for the engine. Mice and rats kept going inside there, making uh, nests. So um, this kind of keeps it a little more protected, even though there are holes underneath. Uh, muffler is original. Again, cover on the other side as well. Uh, I didn't really touch the electrical system at all, actually. Uh, it was missing a gas cap, so I just picked one up at um, uh, Tractor Supply, actually. It works perfectly. Uh, so this is the, uh, the business end of the, uh, of the tool of the gadget here. And as you can see, this was designed very well. It's, uh, the bed is actually made out of aluminum sheeting, so it's not going to rust. In fact, as you can see, the paint is peeling off because it didn't stick to the aluminum very well, but I don't really care. Um, it's hinged down there, so it's pretty neatly balanced. It has some nice uh, heavy-duty uh, hinges here. Um, here's the hydrostatic transmission uh, right there and I have, I'm trying to remember, no, I have not replaced the, uh, the fluid yet because I'm trying to figure out exactly what fluid it uses. Um, so here's what the transmission looks like, if you can see that. Uh, it, I don't think it's a heavy duty transmission because this is uh, an ST, uh, but um, it does seem to be doing the job pretty well. Uh, so as you can see, the uh, uh, brake line was extended here is the, uh, the the pipe that it runs into, and here is it comes out of this pipe. So, so the pipe is a guide, and then there is uh, one of the other lines that was also extended here through a pipe. This is for the clutch, and then <clears throat> the belt was actually um, spliced with a pulley down here. So you can see the belt. I hope you can see that the belt comes up 
comes from the front right here and then it goes into another pulley here and it goes in the back so originally that was actually swapped so it was going backwards when I would tell it to go forward and vice versa and I, that was just a simple twisting of the belt so the bed <coughs> hinges nicely it's pretty balanced I would say and it also has another a nice feature so it has this uh, tilt gate over here which is bolted here I suppose I could put a pin if I wanted to have a quick removal um, and as you can see it has these uh, little uh, ears down here so these are connected to a rod that runs the length over here okay and then it goes to this little lip right here with a spring okay and <clears throat> that lip is pushed by this rod over here which goes over here through a guide and it comes over here so when I take this out and take it down it releases as you can see there it releases the tension from their lip and it opens up these little ears which let the gate open so it's a pretty uh, nice design so that way you can actually open it from the seat actually uh, and then use the lever itself to tilt the gate to give you a little more leverage and that's that um, I actually added a linear actuator so here's my switch to control it uh, I have wiring runs underneath and it runs right here unfortunately here's the wiring for that um, unfortunately I need to find a better uh, mechanical advantage uh, location for it as you can see I had a pit up uh, a fulcrum point a pivot point right here and then another one up over here oops another one over here okay sorry about the Sun and um, it was actually working uh, lifting the tail the uh, the bed up and down but only if it was uh, not loaded so as soon as I put some weight into the gate into the um, into the um, bed it uh, would not lift it because uh, it just doesn't have enough of an angle uh, so it sits too flat um, and it cannot lift it so I just haven't gone back to this but I need to put a linear actuator um, it needs to go from again uh, it needs a more mechanical advantage so it needs to be probably bolted down here or somewhere in this area here and able to push up into it um, maybe even go right here in this area right here uh, as you saw from my other uh, video of my uh, what I call the other uh, Franken trailer uh, which is my uh, uh, tractor converted into a wheel horse tractor converted into a wheelbarrow motorized wheelbarrow I did do that before with a nice uh, 24 inch uh, uh, thousand pound force linear actuator and it's got a nice angle to it and that lifts it no problem so in fact on that one I put the same person in the bed and I was able to lift it no problem so it's just a matter of getting the right angle <clears throat> um, and with my Franken trailer um, I can lift loads full of dirt uh, loam and so on which are very heavy it lifts it no problem so anyways <clears throat> this is uh, the tractor uh, it's been working very well after I made a lot of little adjustments here and there uh, and literally I put probably less than I'm, I'm gonna say probably fifty dollars in parts uh, actually the battery alone was fifty dollars so put probably about seventy eighty dollars in parts into this uh, just to get it running